Laura from the Shabby Tree here. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Now, if you're part of the Shabby Tree, you guys all know I love having fun and I love getting creative. So this morning I showed everybody these amazing bags. Now, if you shop Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, all of that, when you walk up towards the register, you're gonna see these amazing bags all hanging by the registers for 99 cents. These are the, the most amazing bag ever, right? Now, this one's double-sided. This one caught my eye because of the colors, the photo, I loved it. Now, what was I gonna do with this bag? I don't know, but this morning I came up with an idea. If you wanna add a quick, simple little pop of color to your porch, guys, this can be turned into a pillow cover in two seconds, I think. Anyway, with a sewing machine. I've got my sewing machine right here. Now, pillow cover. Actually, you could make it into a pillow with some polyfill. That's what we're gonna do right now, okay? It is double-sided. It is an amazing material that it could get wet. You can wipe it off. Now, this is not gonna be a pillow you're gonna wanna actually lay down and put your head on, but guys, look at the colors, right? Okay, again, this particular one was 99 cents and it was from Home Goods, okay? I thought it says it on it somewhere. Yes, yeah, Home Goods. Ha! Okay, 99 cents. What I did was I took the scissors, I cut all along the little seams here and along the stitching. That gave me two perfect pieces, same size. Now, I took two, well, I took a few pins. I pinned good sides facing in, okay? I pinned it. We're going to take the sewing machine. We're gonna go zip, zip, zip on three sides. We're gonna come halfway. I guess I'll start here and here. We're gonna come halfway down uh, across the center. We're gonna leave an opening. We're gonna shove some polyfill in here. We're gonna uh, stitch it closed, and bam, I should have a really cute pillow. Now, I love this just to set on a cabinet on my porch. It's definitely gonna give it a pop of summer. I mean, guys, the colors and the chicken and all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's get um, let's get this stitched up so we can actually see if it works. Have I made one? No, I'm doing it with you. I always tell everybody when you're part of the shabby tree, I'm your guinea pig, and we're gonna see if it works or doesn't work, okay? so. Let's just be patient, let's sew this up, okay? So, we'll see how it works. So, I started um, halfway over, and then we're just gonna come across, and we're going to come down, and I'm gonna do all three sides. I don't know, I think I'm gonna love it, guys. Okay. I'm gonna say, if you're asking me right now, Barb, can we glue this? I'm gonna say you probably can, but I'm gonna say this is a lot easier and I feel like it's going to look better. But by all means, if you wanna try some glue, um, I would maybe try the Sheer Bonder Fabric Glue for the hot glue sticks. I think that might work. And I can try that later on and let you know if it's gonna work or not. But right now we're stitching it with the sewing machine because it's just too simple, guys. Way too simple. Okay. Oh, I got a pickle. I'm using a basic stitch. I'm not zigzagging it. I just used a basic stitch. Okay. I'm gonna come a little bit over on this side too. And I'll show you why I'm doing it this way in just a minute. Okay, so we have it all stitched. I think I just finished in time. I think I just broke my thread, guys. We'll see. Okay, let me pop my pins out really quick. I only put, I think I put two pins on each side. That The pins were helping um my pieces to not slip around while i was stitching it okay now we're gonna see if i turn this inside out i'm gonna give my corners a little cut here just so that it helps my corners lay a little better all right now let's turn it inside out and let's see what happens okay you don't even have to do it this way where you got to turn it inside out i might have not even left my opening big enough to turn it inside out oh hey Okay, now let's see if we can turn it inside out without ripping it because this is kind of like a paper, guys, actually. But we're gonna give it a whirl. You gotta be a little patient. Take your time so I don't go ripping it. Normally I would be like, bam, 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 here's the finished one. But I actually wanna do it with you guys so you can see if it's gonna work or not work. Now, what I'm gonna try to do is put my hand inside and push the rest of it out, all right? As soon as I get all of this, Turn, all right 
So do you see what I did? Now we're flipping it. This is gonna give me a finished edge going all around. Instead of letting the unfinished uh, sides showing, that's why I'm doing it this way and flipping it. You don't have to. You could sew it with both sides facing out and then just have your finished edges show. Okay, <laughs> I think it's gonna turn out amazing. Okay, now I'm putting my hand inside and we're going to just push the little corners out, all right? now. If you guys do um, Pioneer Woman stuff and all of that and you decorate like that, I'm going to tell you what, this would be a very cute little pillow just to set in your kitchen somewhere if you do the Pioneer Woman. Because she has a lot of these beautiful colors, this uh, blues and the uh, fuchsias and all of that. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking my fingers, and I hope the noise is not annoying you. I'm taking my fingers and I'm pushing out my little corners here, okay? So just like this. All right, now I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna bring it all the way up. Now, I do have a bag of polyfill here and we will quickly fill it up and we'll see what it looks like, okay? So let me get these two corners out right up here. Here is this corner. It's very durable, guys. You see, it's not ripping on me or anything. And guys, come on, I'm really pushing this stuff around here. Okay, now I wanna make sure I get my little corners out before I stuff it, all right? Now, let me show you what. All right, so I'm gonna just pull all of this. Come on, guys, it's so stinking cute. Okay, so you've got this. Is that not crazy? Okay, 99 cents, all right? Now, do you see what I did up here? So the reason I came and left an opening on the top and the reason I came over so far is, so we stitched this and we stitched this. Now, this is gonna leave me an opening and do you see how it already even has like your little folds bent in just like this? So once I get this pillow stuffed, I can try to fit it in the sewing machine and stitch this closed or I could take thread with a needle and just hand stitch this close. That is gonna be up to you which way you wanna do it, but let's shove some polyfill in it and let's actually see what you guys think about it. Now, I will ask a favor, spread this video around. Guys, it's 99 cents, come on, 99 cents. And um, Home Goods and TJ Maxx has a variety of prints on these bags. So you could get um, all different prints and all of that, this chicken, just caught my eye okay so what you're gonna do is put your polyfill all in the bag I'm gonna set this down for one second let me rip this open you are going to put all your polyfill in here now if you wanted to use this and cover a previous pillow don't leave an opening on the top leave the whole top open slide your pillow down now in there hand stitch the top closed and you are done guys you are done now this takes quite a bit of polyfill, so you're gonna to wanna to buy at least one bag of polyfill. Now, I will tell you another secret. If you take bed pillows from Walmart, they're like um, $3 in some cents in Walmart, they have bed pillows. You could take bed pillows and use the polyfill that is in the bed pillow from Walmart and stuff your pillows. That's a little trick, guys. Um, sometimes it works out and it ends up being a little cheaper, okay? All right, so let me just, now this will be on the blog. It will have finished photos of the two pillows together. I will finish them up. I will take photos of the two pillows together, but I think you guys get the whole um, idea here. Stuff it up really good. Stitch your little end clothes, and guys, come on, bam, look at that. Okay, I'm telling you what, and it's double-sided. Do you see that? I hope you guys will all give this a try. It is very simple very easy with a sewing machine it's done in no time whatsoever okay everybody i gotta get off right now i will have photos of the finished one in just a little bit okay i hope you guys are all having an amazing day see you guys all later